Hello, everybody. I'm a three and a half year revenge retaliation, identity theft, skull split, brain injury, body mutilation, medical treatment refusals, medical discrimination. How does OPP commit their crimes and get out of them? Through Lennox and Huntington Hospital. How does Lennox and Huntington Hospital commit their crimes and get out of them? Through OPP victimizing their victims even more, refusing a medical treatment, lies, time buying, cover-ups, arrest refusals except for on your victims to fuck them even more. My mother stalked and murdered. I am the end of my bloodline. I'm an identity theft, brain injury, skull split, body mutilation, medical treatment refusal, medical discrimination, false arrest, kidnapping, blood and piss stolen, lies, time buying, cover-ups. Three and a half years, I spoke police crimes and this is finished. I have nothing left. I have not had any feeling or stimulation in my head or my brain for approximately four months and not being able to do a thing about it. How does everybody assure their crimes around here? OPP, Lennox and Addington Hospital, organized human trafficking, file falsifications, medical treatment refusals, discriminations, kicking from the hospital to prevent help, to prevent proof of crimes, and also using OPP to falsely charge your victims to get out of crimes that you are guilty for. Nice way to fuck your victims even more. <laughs> Time's been bought. Three and a half years. And the damages to me, I have proven and shown. Full, complete facial changes. How OPP traffic, frame, and murder. This is why they kidnapped me for my blood and my piss. This is why they falsely charged me for my prince signatures. <laughs> and everything else, and I will not be proven wrong. Dangerous human trafficking cops, Spencer Mills 14716, now allegedly Aurelia, ex-chief or commander, year 2019. Staff sergeants, years 2019, 2021. Robert Kane, Robert Lucas, Shannon Cork, Stacy, a mental health worker, and Shelley Hafner. Lennox and Addington County General Hospital CEO, Administration, Patient Relations, Dr. Tatiana V, aka Margie V, File Falsifier, Medical Blacklister, Girlfriend to Stacy, the mental health worker, now Kingston, Dr. Joy Hadley, Dr. Burton, Dr. Pritchard, Dr. McGregor, Triage nurses, Terry, Tanya, David, all criminally and negligently involved in this against me. <clears throat> the lies, the treatment refusals, the cover-ups, this will be turned around on me, 100% guaranteed. Time's been bought. One way or another, I am going to see you all arrested, whether you're police whether you're doctors, whether you're Billy Woldridge, Blair Hardy, Tyler Lake, Jason Van Alstyne, Dale Hartwick, Tony Hearns, Ray Ray, Sam, Michelle Irish, Holly Carlisle, and the woman from Center and Thomas Street, the side door, the crack shack. I am going to see every one of you arrested and charged, but I am not paying the $22,000 to have it done. I spoke police crimes and I became a victim. This is how they traffic, frame, and kill innocent people right here. Blair Hardy, Billy Woldridge murdered my mother through Spencer Mills and Stacy for revenge. Because I spoke their human homeless trafficking and the homeless exploitation for monetary gain. That's why this is happening to me. They've had they've, obstructions being surrounded, hands on guns. 
a justice of the peace laughing in my face over being sodomized or accusing me of being hallucinating on marijuana? I don't think so. <laughs> Done to obstruct and to prevent arrest. Conveniently, I can't get it done, but they can all do it on me to fuck me over. Poor, homeless, elderly, disabled, beware. My mother was murdered, and I will be killed. I will end up disappearing soon, and this is no joke. <laughs>